Hey guys, welcome back into another video on the FBTC Rubber Chat. We are talking about today, and we're not streaming it this time. We are doing what interesting one we're talking about. CJ Stander retiring from rugby from the retiring from months on 21st June, and it looks like retiring from the international game. This weekend, it looks like I'm for, I don't know about the lines, what's happening with Mike on the lines, but as it stands at the moment, a lot, a lot of things haven't been cleared up. But it was an absolute shock to the whole of rugby community. Big international starts and week in, week out. And I think we'll talk about, I'll talk about later in the video, what it means to things. So we're just going to go to them. What he said. All professional sports have been told you know when the time is right to hang up your boots. In Esper, I can't couldn't pretend until the day arrives. For me, that is the time has come and particularly now to all forms of rugby. I'll be available to represent Munster until the 21st, 7th June, as you said, and my, when my contract expires. An international ref for Mr. Tev Winder. Does that mean the Lions? Who knows? During this lockdown, I did a a stock late and what the matters to me is doing me in life, my faith, my family, incredible game I've played since these years old. I was saddened by my decision, I enjoy my rugby career and it take a long journey for me with rewards, memories, surprises beyond anything I could script it for myself. I wouldn't change a thing. 150 matches I played for Munster, my blood will always remain with Limerick and he goes on to say thank Thanks to all the people that helped me on, and to his wife, his people that adopted him, and allowed him to come to Ireland. I think to play in Ireland, I think is mostly towards. I think I'll just do the best. What? Just reading a bit more. It was freezing sessions at end of 2020. I always retire as playing my best rugby. My daughter will go around family in South Africa. My intentions continue at during discussed the John O'Rourke, head of Rabbit Munster. Deeply appreciated. I will be playing my final my effort at content. Gratitude and lies ahead. What next to challenge? Thank you to my agent, his agent, Grant, Grant Stewart. Um, thank you to all the people in Ireland. My rugby family in Limit, my Irish room, Joe Smith, first let me know. Aaron Fan continue to back me. And um, with the whole of the dressing room, too. This saying, he, he just doesn't feel in the game anymore, in my opinion. What I can read and what I can tell from. Fit places. He just he thought the time was right. He's fair. I don't really. He's only thirty. It's quite a young age to retire for. If he's going to retire about 33, 33 on. Um, but he's quite. He's on the old, younger side of retirement. Less it. The uh, that's the, if you retire at that age, it's most likely injury. But he's got no injury problems. I think it's just the time right. He wants to do what the best for his family. It's quite tough on his family. Um, what he had to do. Um, I think it's important for the and it was a conclusion gradually um, it was big about how anti Foley le led him to be the great player what he is and from rest in peace um, Andy Foley um, I think interesting so I think let's talk about uh, what's ahead for Ireland I think uh, he's been probably Ireland's best player it's just his work rate the type of player that give work rate work rate work rate I think that's what he'll give. He gives it, and he'll give it to Munster. They'll give it, give it to Ireland for that last game. I think they, that Ireland team will really want to do him proud this weekend. What I think for the future, where he could go and what he could do. I think he could be a really good pundit. Maybe in the future, he could be a good pundit. We might see. Who knows? We might just want to have a normal life in South Africa. I imagine he's going to be back there. I think he's really appreciated people what he's done for Ireland rugby that's the most important thing I think he's given it all he's big thankful for uh, him being adopted allowing him to come, be in Ireland go and play in Ireland what a great servant and he's really thankful to Joe Smith for that and it's really I've been very lucky to see him play we're going to now just very I'm very thankful you CJ I know you probably won't watch this video but I'm very thankful you all you've done Ireland love watching you from an England fan love watching you um, what I think of this, we now we're gonna. That's what I think. We're gonna move what the future of Ireland rugby may be. 
the future, I think, they've got to now start to get Caelan Doris in that 8 jersey. There's someone there that can really be the spine of that Irish team in the future. A guy that CJ Sanders said to him, got to look for the future now. And I think that's implying in Caelan Doris. I think they know when they've seen a talent there, and they want to produce it. But they want to produce a talent that's so good, they know what to do. They know what to do. And guys... He is so good. I think that's what he. I think you just got to bring, and you got to bring young player Will Connors in. I see Josh Van der is kind of left out of the picture now. I think you're seeing slight tilts improvement to improve the game, and you're seeing that they get better and better each day. I think what you got, you want to see from this team. I think that's what you got to look and they've got it's interesting I'll be back with another interesting to see what will happen in the future about it and they've got other players coming through and see how Andy Farrell will integrate that team and it'll be coming a new video soon about it but uh, that's my overwhelming thoughts about the decision to see Jay Standard retiring and what a way he could be a coach or he could be a coach in SF or he just said he wants a normal life let me know in the comments what you think guys and I will be back for another video soon